Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So whenever you start working in any kind of NLP task, you may have certainly find yourself in annotating the data set for your own respective task, right? And that can become sometimes cumbersome because you might need to annotate yourself or you might need to hire a team or you to involve your teammates to do the annotation for you. And then again, you have to validate the documents or the annotation that has been done by the team. And that again becomes a time consuming task for yourself. And that whole of the process involves an investment and that investment gets, that gets keep on increasing always. So hence that becomes a very, very uh, cumbersome task to do and annotation itself requires a huge resource and also the investment to progress and get the right uh, annotations for your uh, task, right? So to address that particular problem, UBI AI tool gonna help you to automate the annotation for your own NLP task. And you may not need to hire a huge team to, to work for it. You may certainly need few people to just validate the, the documents that is gonna be annotated by the UBI AI tool. And that's it. It's gonna help you to automatically annotate the documents. And then you can also review the documents and then you can prepare it for your own task. So let's say you want to uh, train an NER model and then you want to annotate uh, thousands of files uh, on the basis of the requirements that you have and then you start annotating by using UBI tool and then you can finally export those annotations that you're going to do using UBI tool in any of the format like if you are using uh, spacey NER models to train uh, then you can also export all of your annotations in a spacey NER format and then you can directly train your own spacey NER model so that's the flexibility that UBI tool gives you to try to annotate automatically annotate the documents and then export in the required format in whichever format you want to train the model so that's the beauty of this particular ubi tool so in this tutorial i'm going to take you to a certain example of ner where i'm going to forwarding a job descriptions i will try to extract the uh, certain information out of it and i'm going to export in the spacey ner for, uh, format because i'm going to train a model uh, like in future uh, using that particular annotation so let's just jump into the tutorial. So first thing is you have to log in into UBI tool and this UBI tool is uh, is charges some, some premium and that is very very acceptable because you might not need a huge team. So UBI tool itself gonna take some amount from you and then you can use this tool as a single resource and you can club with your team members and start annotating automatically. And then you can start validating also in the same tool. So this is not a free tool. You can just start using uh, some amount of uh, work as a free resources, but eventually uh, the premium one is worth trying because it involves all of the uh, automatic annotations. So once you are logged into the UBI tool, you want to see this particular platform. And then once you go into this project, you want to click, click here in a new project. And then you're going to put in up your details, like what project you want to do. And I'm going to name uh, as uh, experiment uh, NER. And then I'm going to go into the next option. And then I'm going to specify the span based annotations because I'm just going to annotate the spans, uh, certain spans of the uh, text, right? So I'm going to do that. And then you can also use some of the different annotations bases. Like if you want to train a, a layout LM model, you can select this OCR annotations. If you want to do image classifications and if you want to do character based annotation, like if you want to train an OCR model, then you can use this character based annotations, right? So right now I'm going to just use span based annotation because I'm just going to use it uh, for NER uh, annotation. So I'm just going to use this span based annotation, right? And then I'm going to click on next. And then I'm going to uh, set the labels that I want to use to annotate the document. So let's suppose uh, I'm going to use uh, job description and I want to extract the information from job description. So I may need to extract some skills, uh, experience, and then I also want to extract degree. So let's say I just want to extract three informations from a particular document. And then I'm going to press, press this next. You can also set up your relation labels. Uh, let's suppose you want to extract the relation between the entities. Uh, you can also mention the relations over here, but that is for another video. And then also we can uh, specify the uh, classification. If you want to do any classification of the particular document, you can specify and select the classification labels also. But I'm not going to do that because it's for some other videos and then I'm going to just click on submit. So this project is now created and once you create this particular uh, experiment NER project, you are, you are going to need an upload of files. 
so what i'm going to do is i have just a set of examples that i have prepared for this particular tutorial so i'm going to just upload a few examples of files here and then let's try to auto annotate these documents right so, so essentially it's going to upload a document and then we're going to go into the portal and then start seeing the uh, portal with with the examples that we have put it in right so these are certainly the steps that are involved in creating the projects and uploading the file i have created an uh, a default project uh, which is an experimental project i have created and that can be used for a, for a demonstration so it has all the notation that has been done already so let's just jump into that particular uh, project and we'll see uh, the annotations that are available so i have this data set created already and then i have annotated some of the uh, documents here uh, manually so let's see uh, how we can do it in, in an automatic way so essentially if you want to start the automatic annotation process you essentially need to provide some examples of it so let's suppose i have hundreds of documents available here and i want to annotate all of the 100 documents automatically so in that case you need to specify or you need to annotate uh, some of the documents let's say five documents and then you can just use that particular five annotations to uh, to annotate the other remaining 95 documents and internally ubi uses gpt framework to take a few examples and then automatically annotate the remaining examples right so this is what we call few shot annotation so that was the basis of this ubi annotation so it going to you going to have to provide uh, the examples the few set of examples and then it is going to learn the, those examples and going to help you to annotate those remaining documents so in the, in my case i am just using five examples as an input to the model so that it can understand the the information very well and if you want to change the parameters like if you want to change the uh, uh, model parameters you can just essentially go into this model section and then you can click on this uh, few shot and then here you can add you can add model let's say if i want to delete this and then you can just go and add model and you can select this gpt model and here you can see that there are number of examples that you can provide so you can play with this particular parameter like if you want to provide uh, 10 examples you can put 10 here and then you can start putting you can start annotating the 10 documents and then you can uh, uh, put up as an uh, training part for for this model to understand those 10 examples and then predict for other examples right predict the annotation for other examples you can also play with Uh, the temperature part uh, like how how much the randomness or is required while while understanding or training the model so that's the part of this particular thing so i'm just using five examples uh, to understand uh, the the particular annotation part and then once i have set up this particular model section i'm i'm going back to this particular annotation tab and then i'm going to annotate all the required uh, documents that i want to annotate so i have already annotated five documents you can see i have already annotated five documents and these five examples are enough for the gpt model to understand uh, the context behind this particular annotations and then it's going to learn these particular examples and then it's going to help you to predict the other examples right so let us do this so once you have uh, annotated all these five examples for yourself and then what you can do is you can just click on any of the annotations that you haven't done it so let's say this is the annotation i never did it uh, for this particular document so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just click on this particular predict button so what it going to do is it's going to take up all the annotations that you have done for five examples and then it's going to give you give you an annotation for this particular document based on those five examples and that's how it's going to annotate it for you so you can see it has automatically detected the skills uh, the degree the experience etc right so this is how you can do it for other documents so let's say i have this another documents and i want to get the uh, labels for this particular document so i can get all the labels Uh, by using this few shot approach here in ubi tool and you can annotate like this for all the documents that are available in your case by just providing a few examples of your data and annotating with certain examples and let's say you are done with this particular approach and you got your all the data annotated so let's say i want to use this particular annotations to train my nir model right and i want to use an spci nir model to train it so you might need to export this particular annotations in your local file or in your local environment and then you have to start using that that particular annotations for training the model right so what you can do is you can just go and uh, validate this particular documents so here is a document validation uh, that are available so you, once you are satisfied with this annotations you can just click on this uh, green button to validate document or if else you are not satisfied with any of the annotations you can cross this you can click on this cross 
and you can recreate those annotations so let's say i want to recreate this and i want to specify it as the skills so i'm going to set your skills and then uh, it's going to work for me and this is the how the validation is going to work this is the way that you can automatically get the annotation done and then you can also uh, recreate those annotations and once you're satisfied with the those annotations you can click on this validate button and then once the validation of these particular data sets are done and then you can just take up these uh, annotations and export it so what you can do is you can just click on this particular export annotation button and then once you click on that you're gonna see a lot of formats are available so if you're trying to train any of the amazon comprehend model and you can also export in json format which is also a, a format that generally being used in ner model training so you can also export in that if you want to train in a uh, spacey model you can export this particular in spacey format you can export in text classification format and if you have any relations available like if you have tagged any of the relations between the two entities then you can also export in relation format and then you can also export in iob format so these are basically different type of format that are generally available for training of any of any other models you can export in any format and even if you click on this spacey format and you can click on any of this spacey format so let's say i want to train a spacey to any other model so i'm going to download that particular uh, format in a spacey to format so this is the way that you can download it and you can save it and then you can use this data directly in your own uh, uh, training models and you can find your own model on this kind of data set so that's how this particular ubi tool gonna help you in annotating the or automating the annotation work and it's gonna reduce the amount of effort that is needed by the different people and you can also help you to validate the documents in an easier way as multiple people can come and collaborate here and just and this, this work can be divided into those people and can be validated very easily so this work done by ubi is great in terms of automating the annotation part and it's gonna help you to annotate the work in a much better and efficient way and ubi is truly worth because it also help you to reduce that effort and time to prepare data and then you're gonna use this particular data and export in any kind of so this is the way that you can use this particular ubi tool for your annotations for different kind of nlp task format that you require to train so i hope you enjoyed this particular tutorial if you like this particular uh, video please do subscribe to the channel thank you